G'day fellas and girl, as I've been told I have to say now. In the previous video, I'd set up a camera to see what birds were coming around, which I left going both day and night, which showed something interesting. Considering the chooks just on the other side of that fence have been being taken, only leaving a trail of feathers. So it showed not one, but two cats have been coming around. If you saw the first video uploaded to this channel, the cat was actually shot right on that post there that had also been taking chooks. So feral cats are an ongoing problem. And in this video, I'm going to deal with these two cats, but trap them rather than shoot them. So I'm going to set up a spring snare with the most conventional setup. There's quite a few ways of doing this, but they all seem to be variants of the same thing. So what's needed is two V stakes and a straight stake, a bar to go across the V stakes, a bait stick, and a toggle stick, as well as some strong cord. So this is Hoochie cord, which is the light general purpose cord used by the Australian Army, but any cord will do. And the spring itself is just going to be made from a young poplar tree, stripped of all its branches and tied to the fence. Anyway, I won't bore you with showing me trying to hammer these stakes into this tough ground, but this is the basic setup. So the trap is held under tension by the bent over tree and when that bait stick is dislodged it releases the toggle which carries these two snares upwards hopefully grabbing around the leg of the animal. Now because foot snares are legal but animal cruelty is not I'm only going to use enough tension to set the snare around the animal's leg not lift it clean off the ground. Now ideally, if the only intention was to capture and hold an animal, you would lift it clean off the ground. So it's not able to chew through the cord, or other animals aren't able to come and get it. But that's not an option here. So I baited the trap with a piece of chicken, and fitted the trap alarm, which will let me know within about a minute that the trap's been triggered. So that shouldn't give time for the cat to chew through the cord or break the cord. Anyway, later that night, the cat did show up at the trap, but it showed no interest at all in it, preferring to go to the live chooks rather than the bait on the trap. And this continued on for a few nights, with no luck at all. Even though I've had good success with this in the past. So I decided to change tactics a little bit, and modify the bait rod to be triggered by foot pressure. And I'll use steel rods, because this ground's just too hard to hammer into. Plus I just managed to break me hammer. But it's really simple. And constructed in much the same way. Except I'm going to use a cardboard sheet over the top of the trigger. And cover that over with dirt. So any pressure on that cardboard should trigger the trap. So same principle as before, but all underground. I do like to use two snares either side of the bait. That way you can either cover twice the area and close the same speed, or cover the same area and close twice as fast. I'm also using some thorns to direct the animal to only approach from the sides. So in slow motion, pressure on the cardboard depresses the trigger rod, releases the toggle and carries the snare wise up around the leg. So as embarrassing as it was to buy cat food, that is what I did. This is just a salmon based, fishy based food, which I thought would draw them in a bit better. And I'll place that in the centre of the trap. But I'm also going to lay two other baits, just as a teaser to give them the confidence to go for the other trapped bait. And I'm presenting them all in exactly the same way, on a little piece of cardboard. Now since these cameras only record one minute at a time, and they miss things in between each minute, I've pieced together two consecutive nights and two different cats to show the full story. So the cats did actually take on the teaser baits before looking at the trapped bait itself.
whereby they did trigger the trap and both were caught. Then tear ass around on the ground. Into the other cat after being caught. Anyway, that's it. Um, hopefully you give me a thumbs up down there below because I know this video is not going to go down too well with the wider international audience. But this is just the way things are done in Australia where there's a very big feral cat problem. Anyways, catch us in the next video fellas.